I'm giving you very much why. This video was very highly requested. I posted a poll on my Insta story at Lachey's Glams. And this is what the girls wanted. Now, mind you ladies, they wanted something natural, but I just wanted to add on a little pop throughout the glam and add on a little extraness. Because you know Lachey's extra. So we're just going to jump right into it. I went with some dual lash glue and some Revlon Color Stay Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. And I began to lay down her brow hair. She has beautiful, thick brows. So I did not want to do too much to her original shape. I just wanted to enhance it a little bit more. time to conceal the brows and we'll be going in with the Tarte Shade Concealer in the shade Tan Sand and this is the lighter concealer which is at least two shades lighter than our client's original skin tone and also to balance off the shades to avoid a halo eye I went in with her original skin tone foundation from NARS Longwear Foundation in the shade Macau.
went in with a little bit more of the concealer for her lids just to prep and also have a full coverage. And right after, I will go in with my Airspun Translucent Powder just to set the lids to avoid any creasing. Now I'll be going in with a brown shade in her crease area and this is from the Warrior palette from Juvia's Place. Now I'll be placing the shade Pearl for my new Precision Palette onto the center of her lid as a shimmer. And if you guys want to go purchase you a palette, I'll make sure I put the link in the description box below. I love this liner. I feel like it's very well recommended. The only thing is you guys have to remember to tell your clients to keep their eyes closed just to avoid that wet eyeliner to go on to their lids. And you guys already know when that happens, it's over. But I went with the e.l.f. liner in the shade Jet Black. It dries down pretty good, but make sure you always go in with a black eyeshadow just to set that liner just to have a very matte and long lasting liner.
Y'all, this the moment when I died inside. When my client opened her eyes and I seen how even and how on point that liner was, I just I just had to take it all in. But y'all, I'm gonna go in with the Milk Grip Primer. I love this primer because it makes the foundation stick very well to their face. Now I'll be going in with the NARS Longwear Foundation in the shade Macau. A lot of you guys ask which brushes I recommend. I recommend you guys to get brushes from Ulta, also Real Technique, and Morphe. Morphe has some bomb brushes. Now it's time to highlight the features of my client's face and I'll be going in with that Born This Way concealer and the shade Cookie. So now I'll be going in to blend out her concealer and I went with the Real Technique Beauty Blender and I also made sure the Beauty Blender was damp.
after blending out your concealer make sure you go in with your foundation brush just to blend out all the edges to make it look seamlessly blended Now it's time to contour, bring a little bit more hue to her face. And I went in with the L'Oreal Infallible Wear Concealer in the shade Coca. Now a lot of you guys ask, if it comes to contouring the face, you do not have to literally go in with a contour stick. You can use other things to supplement that contour stick. So you can go in with a darker concealer, or you can go in with a darker foundation, anything that would help that position. But I went with the most perfect shade, and I felt like this shade was the perfect shade for her. I'm also going back in with my foundation brush just to avoid a very cakey or a too dark contour. So it'll make all the tones even out very well because remember you still have some foundation in that brush so it'll make everything come out more smoother. have that bright under eye I went in with some lighter concealers and also to add that full coverage to her under eye I went in with the NARS radiant concealers and I love that as a topper I tell you guys all the time if you guys are not used to NARS get used to those concealers because it brings an extra pop to the look
as you guys can see, it's time to set. And you can see that under eye is smooth, girl, smooth. So I made sure I went with the Laura Mercier setting powder in the shade Translucent. The remaining of her face, I went in with the Sasha Buttercup just to set the remaining of her foundation. But I also made sure I avoid setting that contour because I will begin to set that contour with a bronzer. So try to avoid touching that cream contour. And now I'll just be placing some more translucent powder underneath her eyes just to um, help with the fallout because we're going in with liners and we're going in with extra shadows. Now it's time to bronze and I'll be going with the Morphe bronzer palette in the shade 8D and I went in with two of those brown shades underneath her eye and I also want to add a little bit extraness to this natural glam so I made a cat eye liner in the corner of her eye and it was a little difficult because she was beginning to get a little watery but along the way it came out to be a raw glam so just keep watching. I will just give out a little bit of advice. When I became a professional makeup artist today, that's when I began to do cat eye liners. And the only reason I started so late is because I wanted to be more safe by having a steady hand just so I won't poke my client's eye out. Also, if you guys are beginners, just try to, you guys can always try it, but just try to be careful for the safety of your client. So just make sure you're very careful and you having a steady hand. Now it's time to set the structure of her features and I'll be going over the Sasha Buttercup in the shade Banana.
lips, I went in with one of my favorite liners from Morphe in the shade Trendsetter, and I topped it off with a Fenty Beauty Red Lipstick. I begin to dust away that fallout and also make sure you go back to correct your liners. If the powder had swiped away with your liners, just make sure you go back in and touch it up. As you guys already know, I went with my MAC Studio Fix press powders and I went in the NW45 which is her original skin tone as you guys can see me blending out the cards of her cheeks and also I went with the NC42 and also NC50 just to lighten up her under eye. Throughout the process, her lid was starting to get a little bit wet and I was having to transfer over to her shadow um, because her eyes was getting a little bit watery. So guys, you always have to find a better way to add a little bit more pop and also to fix up your problems. So I went in with a little bit of my J. LaRue Press Pigment and this is in the shade White Gold. Now it's time to set the face and I went with the Morphe setting spray and I made sure I drew out my client and look at her skin. It's coming through very much raw, very wet skin and it just set through. The reason I spray my clients for a little, a long time, a little bit more than usual is just to have that long lasting wear. And also I went with the Maybelline um, mascara just to mascara her bottom lashes and also to clean up her original lashes. Our highlighter today will be going in with MAC highlighter in the shade Gold Deposit.
along the way, ladies, I want you guys to step back, stand in front of your client, and see if there's anything you have to fix up or press in. And that's what I did. And I made sure I go back in to blend out problems that I've seen. And ladies, this is the finishing look. And she looks so beautiful. This came out to be so raw. I love this matte look. And this is just all-time wildness. And I'll make sure I keep posting for you guys. If you guys love this video, make sure you click that big thumbs up. And also, make sure you subscribe and click that notification bell so you'll be the first to see whenever Lachey is close. If you guys want to do an inspiring look by me, make sure you tag me on TikTok, Instagram, and Facebook. And I'll be the first to see. I love you guys so much, and I have so much ready for you guys. I will always make sure that I bring some more bangers out for y'all so you can get ready to learn. Period. Love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Mwah.